Hey, so you got yourself a smarty cam and you want to know what sets a camera specifically designed for motorsports apart from one of those other action sports cameras? Hey everyone, I'm Brick with AM Sports and today we are talking about two of the huge benefits of using a smarty cam, the automatic recording and automatic power functions. Now there are several different ways to use your smarty cam. These include completely standalone or connected to an ECU and or GPS or connected to an AIM logger. And just as a quick side note, the ECU connection option is out on the Sport, but still is an option on the Corsa, GP, and Dual. And ultimately, what you have your Smarty Cam connected to is gonna play a part in determining the options that we have for power and recording. And we're gonna start by talking about power and how the Smarty Cams are turned on and off. Now there is of course still a physical power button that you can use to turn the unit on and off, but the trick feature here is that Smarty Cam 3 can do this automatically. Now, even if the Smarty Cam is being used completely standalone Alone, it should still be connected to external power. Receiving power from that source is what's going to automatically trigger the Smarty Cam to turn on. So it should be connected either to a switched power or ignition power to avoid the system being constantly powered. If you're using your Smarty Cam in conjunction with an AIM data logger, then the Smarty Cam will get power from the data logger. So whatever triggers the data logger to come on is also going to trigger the camera to come on. Then to automatically trigger these systems to turn off, we just use a timer. The time increments for that timer can be set by going to Menu, Settings, and then auto power off. Once the unit's no longer receiving external power or recording, this timer will start and it will turn off automatically after the set amount of time. However, keep in mind that things like the recording parameters being met again, the USB port being active, the buttons being pressed, or the SD card being inserted or extracted will restart this timer. So pretty simple and straightforward as far as powering it on and off, we're done with that bit. Now on to how we automatically trigger and stop recording. Now don't worry, just like with the on off button, there is a physical button on the camera that you can press to start and stop recording. And you may even need to use that button if you are using your camera 100% standalone, but in most cases, we'll be able to use one of the inputs to trigger the recording. If you have your Smarty Cam 3 connected to an AIM data logger, it's really very simple. When the data logger starts recording, the camera starts recording. The only thing you have to do is just make sure auto start record is selected. To do that, just go to menu, settings, auto start record, and make sure that's on auto. If you're using your Smarty Cam not connected to an AIM data logger, but connected to either an ECU and or GPS, well, for that part, we need to go into the configuration. So we're gonna hop over to Race Studio 3, and I might have said this enough by now, but... <sighs> If you don't already have this program, it's a free download. Go to the link in our description, do it now. So we will just go up here to configurations. I've already got a test open. If you're not connected to an AIM data logger, then what we need to do here is select the standalone option. And then if you go over here to the parameters tab, then we can either use the standard recording conditions, which would be RPM if it exists greater than 850 or a speed greater than six miles an hour. So both those things are dependent on you getting RPM and or speed, obviously. Then you also have the option for custom conditions. So if we select that, then we can just use the logic here to set up our own custom conditions for triggering it to start recording. So in this case, we'll do GPS speed greater than probably not that 10 miles an hour. And then we can set this to and or so we'll leave it as or and we'll change this to RPM greater than 1000. Hit OK. So now, assuming you have these inputs, if GPS speed is greater than 10 miles an hour or RPM is greater than 1000, it's gonna trigger the camera to start recording. And as always with configurations, make sure you save, make sure you transmit people. Do it up. And one more pro tip for you guys with the Smarty Cams, if you're sending or receiving a configuration, downloading data or updating firmware and SD card, will need to be inserted. All right, so the last thing that we need to talk about is auto stop recording. And it's also important to note that whatever triggers the Smarty Cam to start recording will also stop the recording when that criteria is no longer met. So much like the auto power off setting, the auto stop record is a timer that you can set. To get to this setting, just go to menu, settings, auto stop record, and then select your stop time delay. This option here will determine the amount of time it takes from the time the recording parameters are no longer being met to the time that it actually stops recording. That's it, we're done. And when you get into your race car, you still might have to remember to connect your radio and your cool suit and your helmet air and all that good stuff. But what you won't have to do is remember to press the record button on your camera. So if you found this helpful, make sure you hit the like button. If you wanna see some more, hit the subscribe button. If there's a topic you want us to cover, let us know down in the comments and we will see 
you next time. Bye-bye.